Hello guys, good morning, welcome. That's the Tyler currently fitting the bathrooms, or the bathroom tiles, it's actually just the upstand he's finishing off. Anyway, welcome back to a, another renovation vlog. I am fast becoming more and more excited with these vlogs because we are making progress. We are one step closer to being upstairs and living up there. <sighs> We've made big progress this um, these last couple of weeks. So I thought I would do um, a renovation vlog even though I've only done one a couple of weeks ago. So I'm gonna do a whole series obviously and the more and more closer we get, I feel like the more episodes or whatever you wanna call these videos, um, the more and more we'll, we'll have of them with us being more and more closer to getting ready to go upstairs. So if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome first and foremost rule of this channel is to make sure you set and ready with a nice cozy drink i've actually got a decaf coffee this morning been to the vets with barney and he's doing well for those of you who are asking i have a golden retriever puppy who has recently had a bit of a surgery but he's doing good finally so we're not far off being able to let him run around and swim on walks again which i just can't wait for that day anyway if you are new here my name is freya myself and my boyfriend tom moved into this period property it's like an edwardian on the cusp of edwardian victorian property 1890 something it was built and we bought this back in october we moved in and we started the renovations in end of march i think it was and we're essentially renovating the top two floors whilst living out downstairs this is where we're getting close to being finished to be able to move upstairs to then begin working on the extension and the basement which is a whole other project in itself so if you do want to follow along on this journey i have been documenting it over on my instagram home workout for Farrington home and of course here on my youtube renovation series and for those of you that aren't new i hope you've been loving this little series that i've been doing so grab yourselves a coffee if you haven't already and sit back relax we have a lot to show you we've got tiles going in bathrooms being fitted paint going on the walls all sorts so before we begin we have a sponsor for today's video one that i am very excited for fun fact i actually considered asking uh tom to get me one of these for my it wasn't really for a birthday present but he was like what do you want last in in january and i was like we need a we need a doorbell you know one of these smart doorbells with the cameras and we didn't end up getting it and then Yuffie very kindly sent me one so Yuffie Security is a brand that I have worked with before it's part of Anchor Technologies or Anchor Innovations and I have Hoover from them I have other cameras from them and now we have a doorbell from them so I'm going to get Tom to install this and share with you some pictures over on my Instagram Homer account of what it looks like in situ resolution is great from the one that we've got in our back garden area it's 2k resolution it's got advanced ai human detection picks up on the faces a live view feed along with a recording history as well multi-user access there's no hidden fees or anything like that which i love it's very sleek and sophisticated i'm just going to remove this film so you can see what it looks like love the look of this how minimal and chic is that it's really discreet it will look good and then the actual hub which you connect in your house which obviously has the sound of the doorbell ringing this is like essentially a speaker out the back that um can tell when your doorbell rings but obviously it's got the camera on the top the actual doorbell here underneath what's more i do actually have a giveaway for one of these so if one of you wants to win your very own doorbell from Yuffie Security, then I will leave all the instructions listed in the description box below. So I've said it before, I'll say it again. One of the main selling points for me for the security system products that they have from Yuffie is that they have a whole range of battery operated, this being one of them, and along with our other camera as well. So there's no like real in-depth electrician wiring up system that needs to be built into the walls it's really easy battery powered you simply charge it you're good to go and you connect it to your app as well so you can see exactly how much battery power is left when you need to charge it it has 180 day battery life it's weatherproof as well obviously ideal for being outdoors and this is ideal for someone like myself and tom that if we're here there out and about and wherever and we're getting parcels or we're getting tradesmen ring on the door then we can see exactly who it is we can also use the two-way audio function and let them know if if we're en route if we're nearly home or where to leave a parcel if we are not in so i will leave a link to this below definitely worth checking out if you are in the market for one and now i feel like we should just all sit back relax 
and enjoy the madness of our renovation vlog six. Is this vlog six already? Wow. Mm. I hope you guys enjoy. I feel like we've somewhat gone backwards with the mess. But we do have freshly laid tiles. So this is what will be my bathroom. Obviously still to grout and everything. Protectant, our makeshift protectant. An extra layer of protectant on the shower tray there. Just some cardboard. And then the actual shower has been tiled as well, which is amazing. And they've even tiled this little bit and we've popped a black trim on the edging. So the guy who has been doing all the snagging, sort of like you can see the discolored there, where they go over with a bit of extra plaster just to make sure it's a really smooth finish on the walls. The way that he will do that is he will just finish this off so that all the edging will just be kind of replastered, repainted, and you'll just see this black trim. So I think it looks really nice. The grout for this is going to be like a really light... Well, it's kind of like a creamy color and I'm really happy with them. So that's for our bath waste, bath tap, toilet, sink, sink, taps. So yeah, that is what the main bath is currently looking like. And then we have this en suite, which has also been tiled, just needs to finish off. It's actually the plumber that's gonna finish off that trim. We decided to raise it for ease of waste with this shower. So um, the plumber will come and finish that off. And uh, yeah, this is what this bathroom is looking like. I'm really pleased with it. I was gonna kind of match the paint to the tile and have something similar. However, in hindsight, once it's grouted and everything and I have another look at it, I think I might just opt for a white to keep it nice and bright elsewhere. And then upstairs, oh, I was wondering what this is. It's the protectant for the floor upstairs. I think they're gonna pop that on this afternoon but it'll just help protect it from obviously walking in and out and also when the painters and decorators come which is next week very exciting so we have flooring in the top floor which makes me very excited Ta-da! so we have gone for what is called an lvt in here i think it's like an lvt click or snap something or other so we had to have ply laid throughout underneath this flooring just to make sure it's all level which costs like 400 pounds extra but we do think it's worth it because it you know just gives the perfect finish and we know that these are secure and steady now so runs throughout the whole way we decided to keep it this direction flowing throughout the eaves the bathroom and everything and all the skirts have been fit up here as well now so yeah, this floor runs throughout the eaves and also the bathroom. So the reason we've gone for this kind of flooring is because we've decided to keep this kind of as an open walk-in bathroom, we needed to make sure that this was suitable for bathroom use, this flooring. So it is. We have also decided, I know we've been back and forth with the tiles in this bathroom. However, we have under-ordered, probably on my part, you're meant to order excess of like 10 15 percent over just for like off cuts and everything and i thought i did <laughs> turns out i didn't or turns out we've not got enough we have also tiled a bit more in that spare bathroom than we thought we were going to so anyway we, we're gonna have to order some more tiles in order to finish off these two walls but they're not getting here for, or they wouldn't get here for another seven to 10 days. The reason why we've also had to order more is because a couple of boxes were broken. So, we scrapped that idea. We've come for the really expensive, really nice dark green, like forest green uh, tiles, like vertical hung in here. They're kind of like a metro tile, but we're gonna, like I said, vertically hang them. If I can find any inspo images, I'll pop them on screen. So we're gonna do that whole back shower wall and this wall as well so that it just adds a pop of color we've always said like on the mood boards for this room with it being predominantly tom's office bathroom wardrobe space that with it being it's not going to be a spare bathroom that will never be used tom's going to use it every single day so why not splurge a little why not add a pop of color i feel like the dark forest green will work so nicely with the brass hardware that we've got that again is like nice brass hardware so yeah <laughs> we decided to get them they also arrive in a couple of days which means that the tiler that we've managed to get 
we'll be able to uh, fit them and not have to reschedule us in for a later date, which to be honest with you, I don't know. It's not like a case of when the tiles get here in a 10 days time that the tiler could fit us in again. Good chance that he's probably got another six weeks of work before he can fit us in. So we decided to just scrap the reorder of the extra tiles and go with this green tile instead from Tops Tiles actually. When it gets here, I'll show you. I've been buying or getting a couple of kind of like green items to style up this room with, like books, candles. So exciting. Oh, and these are the radiators that we've gone for. So this one in here is actually a three column radiator. A couple of them are two column and a couple, I think I think we've got a couple of four column or maybe one four column. But yeah, this is a three column white one. We've got on for brushed brass or antique brass valves. And this radiator in particular is going to be going there. So they're all kind of floor hung. We've bought some feet which are on route as well just to help support a bit of extra weight. So that radiator goes in there. Tom's wardrobes are gonna be here. P possibility of having a bit of an island for him as well. And then a sofa bed either along there or along here to make out into a bed should guests stay. Shelving units there, the reason why we've got a plug halfway up is because we're gonna do like light up shelving in there. A little kind of side table there maybe or cough in fact he's got his granddad's coffee table which is a dark wood so you might pop that there and then sand this beam back once we've sanded it back we'll probably varnish it with something similar to that like a really dark wood so it's not going to be too similar to the flooring and then he's going to have a office kind of standing desk set up there as well so that is the plan we've decided to considering we've got the paint and decorators in next week we've decided to order some of the lick paint in beige 01 if you remember from my previous renovation vlog i was umming and ahhing between paints we decided to go for that color within the master bedroom to warm it up it's quite a big room so i feel like we can get away with it any other of the like smaller rooms or darker rooms i'm just going to go with a warm white and with the banisters, once they are like finished up, sanded back, filled and everything, I think we're going to go white spindles and I am quite keen for that black, black banister and railings because why not? I'm adding a lot of black accents throughout this renovation. In fact, speaking of which, those radiators that I've gone for in this spare room, I have a black one which is going to go along here and then in my filming room, I have also got a black radiator Ooh, so excited so the black radiator will go one step forward ten steps back is how it feels with the mess it's just constant once one kind of tradesman are in and out and the next ones are in more mess anyway under the window is going the black radiator here in this filming room we've got this weekend the joiner fitting the panelling, the dado rails, which is very exciting. They're all down there, if you can see. Coving as well, he's going to fit. And again, it's just in the filming room and in this master bedroom that we're having the coving. Same with the panelling. It's the only two rooms that we're going to have the panelling. And we've decided to just panel this section and this wall, rather than do all the kind of intricacies around the bay window, and also this back wall where our bed's gonna go and potentially cover most of it up. We decided against doing the full room, just doing those two walls, half doing the corridors and staircases. And yeah, it's all coming together. <gasps> that was my phone. Oh, we're not smashed. Thank the Lord. Yeah, I feel like after every tradesman has been in, I'm like, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. I'll be excited to get out of this downstairs chaos though. It's just a constant horde of stuff, clothes everywhere, dust everywhere. It's not ideal. Oh, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. You are my puppy. Oh, it's a big stretch. Oh, with your rubber ring donut on. How you doing? It's a lovely paw. Oh, did you just hear him purr? Tom's watching Sopranos on a Thursday, middle of the day, you know. Life for Riley, this guy. That's me. So you'll be disappointed if you haven't already found out. PSL, pumpkin spice latte, have indeed changed their recipe to make it vegan, which is fine, but it doesn't taste as good as the original, so 
I'm pretty sad about that. When I first got it, I was like, oh no, is it just a bad barista or a new barista? Then I went to the Trafford Centre one today and it's, uh, it's just the same as the other day. And then some of you messaged me on Instagram saying that um, either you're a barista that works there or you know someone that works there and that you've been told that the recipe has changed to make it vegan this year. So it will taste different. Not quite as good, unfortunately, but hey ho. Vegan drilling everything, eh? I mean, you can't say that. <laughs> There'll be uproar on my channel. I just think if they're gonna do a vegan version, they should do a vegan version. So you have the option. And they were also advertising it as the original PSL is back. It ain't the original. It's nice, it's just one that I feel like I'd make at home with my pumpkin spice syrup that I've got in the kitchen. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like, oh, how do they do it? It just feels like one that I could create at home, so. Oh my God. <laughs> you playing with your toy? That made me jump. Have you tramped? No, I'm not tramped. No, I'm talking to the dog. <laughs> So tiles are in. The grout we've decided to go for is, it was kind of like a light cream, which I think works really, really nicely with this kind of like warm gray beige type tiles. Um, and what we've done is we've tiled all of this shower. We've even done a dream little shower niche, which I've always wanted to be able to just put my products on. So um, that's been created. What we decided to do is use like a full tile so that there was no kind of divide or lines or anything within the niche. Shelves and everything and showers themselves are being fitted I think at the end of this week and then huge progress with the panelling. I'm such a fan. There's little man down there waiting patiently. Good boy. So we've decided to half panel the hallways. We're going to leave this part for now because we're actually not even going to carpet the stairs going down here either because mid like kind of in between renovating we've obviously got downstairs still to do upstairs is going to be complete so this kind of middle pathway we're just going to keep as unfinished until we finish downstairs so it'll literally just be the stairs that aren't carpeted or panelled or anything but we obviously have the little panelling here and then I've decided in my filming room to do like a panelled feature wall as opposed to panelling the entire room and um, the coving is still to be finished within this room I'm thinking they've said that they might not have enough, which is so annoying, because then that's just like ordered wrong on our part, so we need to order more. But I'm gonna see. I mean, they're, they're gonna come back, I think, this afternoon, later on this afternoon, so we'll have a better understanding by the end of this video anyway. It might even be already up by the end of this video. Um, so yeah, this is what the paneling kind of look that I've gone for within this room. It's three equal panels. No wall lights or anything in here because obviously we've got the down lights, but the master bedroom, we do actually have the um, wall lights and we kind of encountered a bit of a problem. I'll just show you that a little bit and the stairwell there as well. Kind of encountered a bit of a problem with the positioning of the wall lights as to where the panels have gone. So we've done quite wide, dramatic panels with these needing to be in the middle of them. This one, I guess we can shift along a little bit, but this one needs to go quite far over and I'm hoping the electrician will be able to do that and it not be like a lintel or something behind there that won't allow it to be centralized, so fingers crossed <laughs> and then obviously coving in here as well has all been done and fitted all the way around it all, obviously all just needs finishing off filling sanding down and actually making it so that it's um even and perfect ready for painting same with the actual paneling if you can see obviously all the screw holes and everything all get filled and corked along the edging so it all just looks nice and seamless but yeah this is what i've decided to do on this side of the master bedroom wall because i've decided rather than a few panels or two i wanted a big one here for a potential mirror or artwork 
And then on the other side, mirror or artwork in the middle. I'm thinking artwork on this side, mirror on the other. And then we have this bathroom all tiled as well. We have just left to do in this bathroom and the other bathroom, the actual upstand, which we're gonna do with a tile as well. Then all the architraves and door casings have now been fitted and finalized. And we have the doors here. The doors are here. We're just waiting on the hinges and the door knob arrivals. And I think they're due here tomorrow. I just called them earlier on today and they said they should be here by tomorrow. So fingers crossed again for that. Then within here, just pop this down for the tiler because are you ready for this dramatic reveal? This is a very dramatic, still needs to be grouted. He's coming back tomorrow to grout this with a dark grout. Uh, which can get a bit messy, hence why we've just covered all the floor and everything and the shower tray. And it's kind of hard to tell on camera the true colour of this. And also, like, obviously they all need wiping down properly. But they are a really, really dark, deep forest green. And I'm obsessed. And some are a bit darker than others. Like, that one's a bit darker than that one. And I love the contrast. I think it's going to look so cool. I mean, it looks pretty dramatic. It is very dramatic in comparison to the other one. But I think it's cool. And the fact that this is going to be like Tom's bathroom, it's a bit more masculine, a bit more quirky. And yeah, I love it. It's now finished. Well, it's hardly finished, but we have had the tiles done. Oh, how exciting is this? So it's very dark and moody and definitely a different kind of vibe compared to the other tiles that we've got, I don't touch it too much just in case the grout's not fully dry, but we've gone for this kind of dark charcoal black grout, which made a little bit of a mess, but we luckily covered all the floor and shower tray because we were told that the black grout can make a bit of a mess. So yeah, we have cleared the floor. I'm gonna re-put on some new protectant because the plumbers are back from tomorrow to finish off fitting our Myra showers. Obviously we've got the shower trays in and these are called the flight level ones if you are interested. They were actually gifted and I just love the fact that there's no like chrome waste or anything. There's just this little kind of slit which you can just remove and clear out. And then we've gone for the brass hardware in here as well. So these are where the shower valves are. So you can turn it on, get in the shower. There's gonna be a shower door here. It's like a glass panel with a black trim. Handheld brass shower there. And then this one is actually ceiling mounted. So there's a tiny little mark on the ceiling. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that is where the shower head will come out of. But what do we think of our dramatic tiles? They are very bold. They were verging on black when they went in. And I was like, oh gosh, they are very dark. But when you get the natural light in, and also obviously we're going to have like the down lights, which will warm it up. I do think that you can pick up the kind of forest green element. They do actually have this tile in black. I'll try and leave a link to all the products that we use in the description box. Because I feel like I might get asked questions about where they're from. They're from Topps Tiles. And they do have loads of colours to choose from. They have like a real bluey kind of almost cobalt blue, but dark. They've got this kind of forest green. They've got a really nice olivey mud color, almost like verging on mustard, which I was tempted for as well, but I think we ended up going for these. I'm quite glad we did. And we have upstands, yay. So this is what the tiler's done. He's basically just used the tiles that we had and used off cuts, or we had a couple of broken tiles as well, so we just used them to do the upstand all the way around both this bathroom and the main bathroom. We've had a delivery and I'm very excited. The paint is currently doing the first coat of um, a like kind of creamy white everywhere. But this is the beige number one from Lick, which we got the sample of, I showed in a previous vlog, and that is going in our bedroom, which I cannot wait to see this on the wall. I love it. Okay, I feel like we need to just talk paint for a little bit because oh, I feel like I'm having a mare. I'm having a mare. We just come in the natural light so you can see. So, paint. We have ordered and got this one that has arrived for the master. Love it, can't wait for it to go on the walls. Now, when I looked at the Lick samples, I thought that of these two white shades, 
white zero one and white zero three. I thought the white zero three complemented it better. It's nice and warm and creamy. So we've gone for something similar to this color throughout the rest of the upstairs as our white. However, the one that we've gone for, which is a Dulux paint, is I think too creamy everywhere. Now in certain lights it looks good, in others I think it looks yellow. Oh, I don't know if we should have just stuck with all of the lick all together, but it's now making me think, now that I got used to that mist coat, which was just a brilliant white all over the walls, that I'm kind of wanting to go back to just that bright white and brighten the space up and obviously stick with this for the bedroom with maybe this on the ceiling and the skirts and everything like that. The, not this exact one from Lick, but the one that we've already got on there. I'll show you now. And yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. It probably is gonna be quite hard to tell on camera. This is, oh, not focusing. You can kind of see the contrast here whereby the inside of the door casings are still that brilliant white and that's more of the creamy kind of color. It's really hard to tell on camera. I don't dislike this. I'm just worried that white furniture and things might make it look a bit too yellow. So we have this color throughout the whole of the hallways in the bathrooms, which again, in the bathrooms, I love because it actually complements the grout really nicely, warms up the tiles, which I was keen for. So I think what we might end up doing is uh, just accepting a bit of a loss here, a bit of a mistake, and repainting the corridors and the filming room in the more like brilliant white like this versus the creamier yellowy white. So I'll show you in here in the master where you might be able to see a bit better. It's obviously still brilliant white in here, which is nice and bright, but obviously we've had the ceilings done in the creamier color ready for the beige, which again, like I said, I think works really nicely with that warm tone. So I think we'll keep the ceiling that kind of creamy color, but then out here where it is quite a bit darker out in that corridor because there's no natural light, switch it back to brilliant white, which is a big error on our part for choosing the wrong white. I'm gonna say my part as opposed to Tom's because he just kind of says do whatever and he doesn't dislike this either, but when he saw it for the first time, he did give me that, oh, it's a bit yellow. <laughs> I went, oh no. So um, yeah, this spare room as well, I think will look really nice. Obviously the skirts will be done in an eggshell finish versus the mat, which is on the wall. And there's actually no white furniture in here. So that slight concern of mine of the white contrasting against the cream isn't really gonna be an issue because the radiator that's going here is black. I'm thinking of a chest of drawers here, which could be black with a big arched mirror or something above there. And then, cause we're gonna have a sliding door here, we're thinking of putting it on a black rail and we could just go for like a wooden oak door. Um, so it's kind of more creams, blacks and woodens. And again, the bathroom paint, I, I do love this color in the bathroom. I think it works really well. It warms the space up. So yeah, especially as we've got chrome in this bathroom, I think it will keep it nice and warm toned. So this room will stick with the creamier white. This is why I should have used these samples in different spaces because in the spaces that I tested it, i.e. the master bedroom for going with the beige, it worked really well and the bathrooms. But I didn't check the hallways and it is quite dark and yellowy. You'll probably be able to see again with the door casing there, the white. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I feel like the paint is gonna hate me, but I feel like we're just gonna do it because otherwise I'm gonna hate the space. Not hate the space, but I'm gonna potentially regret not getting it back to brilliant white. Same in here. With it being a loft space, it is quite dark. I'm still absolutely obsessed with these tiles though. These tiles and the brass, I just think work so well together. I'm so happy with it. <sighs> love, 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 love. Okay, so. Just in, I don't think I've mentioned it before, maybe in one of the first ever renovation vlogs where I actually put in the order for these. These are from Colebrook and they're really good quality. The plumber was very impressed with the, um, the actual quality of the materials and everything as well. So we've got the little handheld here so we can rinse down the shower tiles and then a ceiling hung um, shower in here. And then we just have the door divide which has a black trim on it which is just a glass panel to go here 
which that is pretty much the only thing that's going to finish off this bathroom. Apart from that, that's fit. Got the nice brass stop trap under there, which is obviously on show, complementing the brass tap. So I'm thinking about putting some kind of a seagrass basket under there with spare towels in. And we do need to just pop in some kind of a hatch there that will just close up nicely for that little loft space and of course the spots as well. And then because of the black trim that we've got on the shower head for this, this needs a wipe down already, we've gone for the matte black uh, radiator for in here. I think we've got all of our radiators and towel radiators from Best Heating. We just need to figure out what we're going to do about this because I don't want this copper pipe on show. So whether or not we just paint that with a bit of metal black paint or I think you can get little like tapes that cover it up. Any suggestions? Let me know on that. So that's going to be one of them things that ends up never getting done or <laughs> one of the things to add to a list of never ending snagging issues that need completing. And then we still need to put the toilet seat on the toilet. This is another slightly annoying thing with going brass everywhere is we couldn't do wall hung toilets just because of the layout of everything so these cheaper toilets you end up with a chrome plated flush which is a little bit annoying but never mind then the joiner is back in a couple of days to finish off this skirting board as well we again another little error on our part we didn't order enough so we have some more arriving Tuesday, is it Tuesday? I think it's coming. Um, so I think he might be coming Tuesday to finish off that. And then hang the doors as well. That's the other thing he needs to do. And then the plumber's due on Wednesday to finish fitting off all the bathrooms, um, which essentially is just in this one, fitting the actual bath, the toilet and the sink and the actual shower as well. We've got the valves in, but that's it. How nice is that brass against these warm beige tiles? Just love it, absolutely love it. <sighs> We're getting there. I feel like I say that all the time, don't I? Oh dear. Oh look, camera's out. Look who wants to get involved. Barney Boo. In there, Barney. Oh, thank you. So, that is where I'm going to end off this renovation vlog. I do actually feel like I was going to have more updates, more progress within this vlog. But we've done so much and it's ended up being a lengthy video that I think I'm just going to save it and just do another renovation vlog literally within a week or two. Um, because we've already made progress and there's painters and decorators in at the minute. Ugh, my hair's knotty. Um, so yeah, there's plenty more to share with you, but I'm going to save that for a separate video coming very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. Stop crying. I think he wants to go have a run around in the garden. I'll take him out in a second. But yeah, if you want to enter to be in the chance with winning your very own battery powered doorbell, video doorbell from Eufy, then all you need to do is follow myself, their account, and tag a couple of friends in my Instagram post that I have done with them. I'll leave all the information on how you can enter down in the description box below. You do have to have Instagram, and I will reach out to the winner in a week's time. It's open internationally. Best of luck to everyone. I'm gonna go take the dog out because he's whining to go out for a little bit of exercise. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Bye guys.